here it is, Kraken Unleashed. Current wait time, about 30 minutes. Not too bad. Check out all of the different types of SeaWorld tickets that they have. So when you get a ticket, it will be one of these. You can get one with uh, you know, some whales, dolphins, penguins, a sea turtle, and then it repeats from there. There's one of the trains for Kraken Unleashed going up at the moment. So uh, right now, they do have the queue line closed off. Generally, if the wait times get longer than normal, they start to close off the queue line and require you to get a spot saver ticket. You know, in the morning they don't require that, but later on they generally do, and especially on busier days. So right now they are requiring you to get a spot saver ticket, of course. We are now doing Kraken Unleashed. This is new. This is like brand new. I did not notice this on my lap. It's like a mirror. It's like a retro mirror. Interesting. Uh, so they're adding theming to the queue line. And of course, if you have solid waste, make sure to put it in the compartment or the trash bin. Wow, this is like totally a walk-on. Looks like they added these fans, but I don't think that they're uh, just regular fans to cool down guests. I think they're primarily for the VR equipment. And especially on warm days where, you know, it's very hot and the Florida heat, they definitely have to cool down the VR uh, headset somehow. In the front row, they're not offering VR, so we're just gonna ride without it. And uh, I think I prefer that experience, at least for right now. I saw them like uh, doing something to the truck. I think they're just cleaning it or something. Yeah, cleaning it. You make up. How? <laughs> Honestly, that was very, very good. I did enjoy that ride experience. Gotta say, give it up to SeaWorld. Uh, Kraken is great, you know, with VR and even without it. So it's a great experience overall. Uh, would I recommend it VR or non VR? I think it's up to you guys. I kind of prefer it non VR, but it's not, it's not that the VR isn't good. I mean, I love the VR on Kraken Unleashed. I just kind of like the regular coaster experience. But if you haven't done VR before, definitely try it. Like, it's something that a lot of people enjoy, and I enjoy it too. I just kind of wanted to ride the regular experience today, especially to get the videos for you guys. I think it's time to head back to Mako. I might get some food along the way. As of right now, Kraken is not selling photos, and they do have a sign saying, this location is temporarily closed. Now we know with original Kraken, they did have photos, they had the on-ride photo, and as soon as they upgraded to virtual reality, I think they were doing some photos, but I don't know if it necessarily worked out in terms of profits. I don't know how many people like buy a on-ride photo of them wearing a headset. I don't know, would you do that? I mean, I might, but I guess people don't really see that as a great photo compared to like, I don't know, something like Mako or uh, Manta. It's now time for Voyagers. We're gonna get some food. I actually got a lot of food. I decided to go with some ribs and then the cream corn, which is actually very good. I went with a dessert right there, chocolate cake. 
And the uh, platter I got here did come with a bread roll. And then as for the drink, I went with a uh, bottle of Dasani. So yeah, this is everything I got, looks great. So we just had some food and over here at the Sky Tower, I did want to show you guys the new process and how uh, you can ride it. We have the Sea of Trees perfect view from the queue line for Sky Tower. We're gonna try to get on Sky Tower and get some views of the Infinity Falls construction, pretty much everything else that there is to see. As you approach the Sky Tower, the attraction itself, they do have a team member here in one of the booths, and then this is where you'd pay for a ticket or you would present your annual pass. And of course, if you're under three, then you'd be able to uh, get in free as well. We ask that you please remain seated at all times. Thank you. Welcome aboard the SeaWorld Sky Tower. Did you know that SeaWorld has rescued and rehabilitated more than 30,000 animals over the past 50 years? You can learn more by watching our television series, Sea Rescue. Be inspired by the exciting real-life animal rescue stories and gain a better understanding of the rich array of sea life with which we share our planet. As you guys can see right there, we have a perfect view of Mako and Kraken Unleashed. Naturally, SeaWorld is known for world-class gift shop journey to Atlantis, where and sharks circle above you main tower and schools of fish swim around your feet. And from here, you can see for miles and miles. As the cabin rotates, keep an eye open for the lush tropical oasis right across the street from SeaWorld. That's Discovery Cove, where you can snorkel with rays. The cabin rotates, you'll we'll see Mako, Orlando's tallest, fastest, and longest roller coaster. SeaWorld's 200 foot tall hyper coaster. Here we go, back into the station.
Well, that was Mako, practically at dusk or really at night. I mean, it's about to uh, get dark, but I really enjoyed that and I think this will be my last ride on Mako for the day. All right, time for a somewhat night ride on Mako. <laughs> Check it out. time is being displayed at five minutes I'd say that's pretty accurate the sea of trees shows going on just as the sun sets check out this view of Sky Tower here's an igloo where you can get your photo taken uh, inside and it looks very cool especially with the uh, Christmas trees in the background along with the sea of lights show it seems as if they are no longer selling the Mako souvenir mugs but they are selling a regular SeaWorld one for about a few years I've seen a lot of emails from SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment and also Busch Gardens saying meet Guy Harvey this week and meet Guy Harvey this day and I've always kind of put that on my calendar but I've never really made it out and then um, I guess I wasn't paying attention until today. Check this out. Something very interesting I want to show you guys. Guy Harvey is actually here himself today. That's right, the guy who uh, creates incredible paintings. And, and so he's like right inside. Like we can actually go up and probably see him or meet him. He is a world-renowned artist and marine biologist. And there he is right there, Guy Harvey. Maybe we'll be able to meet him. We'll see. And this is Guy Harvey himself. I uh, actually got to meet him. So yeah, I just want to say appreciate everything you do. Have some awesome work. And uh, here he is. Sea Thank World. you very much. Yeah. And happy holidays, everybody. And do come up to the Sea SeaWorld whenever you get a chance. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. Cool. Have a great night. So I just met Guy Harvey. I purchased my photo here, and he signed it. Check that out. So yeah, when you uh, you know see him here at the Sea World parks, now he's not here. Uh, every weekend, but you know on select weekends they advertise him being here. Uh, you can actually purchase a photo, have him sign it, and here's another cool thing that I was able to get. I got a Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation sticker that I can uh, stick on my car or you know anywhere I want to. So 
This is awesome. So glad I was able to meet Guy Harvey here at SeaWorld Orlando. He has some excellent work. To be completely honest, I actually have a few uh, of his paintings in my home. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just an awesome uh, experience. It was a pleasure to meet Guy Harvey like for the first time. I've always wanted to. And uh, I was just walking by. I had no idea like he was there. Actually, Jaden mentioned that he saw the sign Say, he said like Guy Harvey was here today. I'm like, oh really? He was here? Like I didn't know. And then we saw that he was actually inside the location. Look, it's snowing. Wow, snow. Oh yeah, it's really snowing. Like look at all that snow come down. Here are a few of the palm trees decorated with Christmas lights. And of course, as we walk out, we have you know, a giant Christmas tree right here. And I'm pr pretty much going to wrap up the vlog uh, in just a moment, but yeah, had a great time today. And before I end off the vlog, Merry Christmas from SeaWorld Orlando. I know I wasn't able to, uh, you know, show you many of the Christmas decorations and experiences, but I promise, promise I will be back in the very, very near future. Actually, tomorrow is my final exam, my very last exam. So once that is done, I will be back here uh, plenty more for... Uh, you know, more coverage of the Christmas experiences that you can have here at SeaWorld Orlando. And there's a lot to see and do, so of course, stay tuned. Check it out, it's Universal's Volcano Bay Water Theme Park at night now. Today it was closed for the entire day as uh, it was just simply too cold to operate it. Uh, the weather was nice though, I mean it was sunny, but it was very cold. Looks like they still have the lighting on, which is nice, and uh, maybe I'll be able to get over there soon. I am now passing one of the coolest billboards here in Orlando. It's a Chick-fil-A roller coaster billboard. The cows are riding a roller coaster.